was devastated. He knew Kobe very well. They kind of came up together um, and entered sports around the same time. And uh, and he was just devastated. And I, I knew Kobe and Vanessa more in passing. Um, he had come to my last show in Vegas, the both of them, as a date night. And we had a beautiful night that night. And uh, it was, it, it just, it's, I think it's affecting everybody so much because it's just reminding us how, again, how fragile life is and how we have to appreciate every single moment and how we have to love people when they're here and not wait and how we don't get the opportunity. It, it, it can be taken away from us so easily. And then I think about Vanessa as a mom and losing her best friend and partner and losing her child you know, how awful that must be for her right now. And I just wanted to send a message and I just been praying that God guides her through every moment because she has three more babies to take care of, you know? And uh, just wishing that the thing never was over, but it's not gonna be in that that's life that we have to, we have to carry on, but at the same time, it affects us and it will affect us forever. And hopefully we will we'll remember this moment. And again, what even what we're trying to do is, is, is to spread love and kindness and bring everybody together. And I think in this week, this happening has has a sound around the world of like we have to love each other and we have to be together and we have to support each other and we can't be so at odds all the time. And I think that's part of our our mission and our message too.